Hello, Dodge and Band. This is Mr. Jeffries with some pointers on how to use the OneNote class notebook and also how to record yourself, which is what you need to do to turn in your latest assignment for band. So, first thing is if you've never been to our One Class cla OneNote class notebook, this is the most reliable way to get there. All right, you go to cobk12.org, click on the little link here that says Parents. And you want to sign in to Office 365. Let's click that. Then you'll put in your email address and password. The email address they want is the one that is usually your name uh, at students.cobk12.org. Um, it should be the same way you sign in if you use OneNote or SharePoint or whatever at school in a computer lab. I'll click sign in. It'll ask if you want to stay signed in. That's up to you. And then you'll be at this dashboard with all the Microsoft Office applications. Okay. Now the class notebook is something that has been shared with you. So the default is it's going to show your recent stuff down here. I've, I've used these class notebooks quite a bit, so they're all showing up here. Uh, you might need to look where it says shared with me. And depending on how many things get shared with you, you may have to look even further. Like none of the class notebooks are here. So, but if I click show more, I start seeing them. It goes a little further back in your history here. And if you still don't see them, you can go to where it says more in OneDrive, which should have your full history of everything that has been shared with you. I'm going to click on Dodge and Band 7.1, just as an example. This is the teacher version of the notebook. So I have everybody's name along the side. Yours will probably just have the welcome. It'll have the collaboration space, the content library. So for example, if you don't have your scale sheet, it was trapped at school, or if you're a sixth grader, the thing we're giving you is brand new. It'll be here. So in this particular library, it says music, scale sheets. So this is a folder and here are the pages that are in that folder. Okay, so a sixth, seventh grader, for example, would just find the scale sheet for their instrument and click on it to download it if you need to. If you already have it, no worries. All right, let's uh, practice recording some audio. I have my tenor saxophone out, so here's a tenor sax player right here. I clicked on the little arrow and I have now two folders. One is for written work. That is where you should have put your rhythm analysis sheet last week. The other tab is for recordings, which is what we were doing this week. So once I click this, this is the folder. This is the list of pages. There's one page and it's untitled so far. The title is over here above this gray line. I'm going to give this a title called C Concert Scale. Oops. All right. Now you cannot insert audio in the title area. You have to click down into the content area. Title content. So below the gray line, I'm clicking one time and my cursor shows up there. That gives me a chance to put something there. What I want to insert is an audio file. I want to record myself. So I'm going to go to insert right there. And it gives me all these options. Last week should have been a picture of your assignment. You have a link to a web page or whatever, but what we're really interested in is audio. We're going to record ourselves playing. So let me get my saxophone here, pick that up. Then I will click that button and record myself playing. All right, here we go. I'm about to click the record button, playing my C concert scale. <laughs> my C concert scale two octaves. Now I'm going to hit stop to stop recording. It'll think about it for a moment as it's uploading the recording. Then finally it'll be there. Now once you've done that you can go back and listen to yourself. Make sure you like the recording you made. Mr. Westfall or I will be able to uh, click on that recording and hear what you recorded. So that's one way to do it. 
The other way to turn in your assignment for this week is if you're able to attend our Zoom session, you can play it for us live and we will uh, give you a grade based on that live performance. All right, folks, good luck with the class notebook. We need to get good at it because we're kind of stuck with this for at least the next few weeks. And happy practicing.